But guys, this week's growing with my butts, putting the tea. My eyes are so bad. In THC. <laughs> so what's very popular for, for weed, especially organic growers, are making your own teas. But now there's a lot of stuff that's just off the shelf. Then, what's what's tea? What's, yeah, what's tea all for of this growing? Stuff, bro? What's this is tea? like. Oh, it's, it's a, a it's, it's like, it's like yeah, exactly. It's a muti. It's a nice. It's a nice uh -huh. cup of tea. It's something you know uh -huh. when you just want to boost your plants, give them a little bit of loving, a little bit of extras. Can you overdo it? Can you love them to death? Yes. Well, you can water anything to over to death. So yeah. even if it even doesn't even have the stuff inside it, you can water them over. Mm. But when you do water them, these are the good things to use. You know, there's <laughs> quite a nice range of things here, as you can see. Are, all, are, are most of these things competing with themselves? Is this different uh, companies doing the same thing? No, these are... These are all essential. All... Is, yeah, they, they can be All used. of these are doing different things. You don't have to have it. You don't, if you don't like, you don't have, have to have it. Everything. Completely optional. Thank you. There's, there's a, a place, place for everything, okay. and if you feel that the plant needs something, you can use these as an amendment or like a booster wow. or a, a yeah. additional mm. additive. Okay. Or if like, you've got old soil you want to revive. Right, there we right. go. Yeah. So you've got things like kelp meal. Going. And that's like seaweed. That's it. Wow. So it's just kelp pack basically made there into you a go. meal. That's what so you're going back and see with. Yeah. Then you've got yeah. some yeah. Yeah. It's it's all down. over the beach. Yeah. <laughs> this is a micro root. Yeah. Nice oh, package. That's, that, yeah, that's, that's a that's great cool. package, isn't it? It's really. Yeah, if it that was on a yeah. shelf with all the rest, you'd go to that one first. That infogram. Yeah, it's more of an organic. <laughs> this actually isn't a micro root. This is more of an organic tea that yeah. they've, they've put together, which has a very, very low, as you can see, a very low NPK. NPK. 0 0.920, 0 0.191. Phosphorus, potassium. Rock dust, mixes and, you know. It's nitrogen and phosphate and potash. Yeah, Derive earthworm yeah. castings and kelp. There we go. That's, That's earthworm castings and kelp, basically. Same thing. Oh, awesome. Potash. Good. That Can't really That's going to be some good shit. Some good shit. But this so, stuff is, is mm. hopefully soon to be available in yeah. South Africa through the yeah through all the local grocers. Where shops. did you get that? This is from the Expo in Cape Town. So uh -huh. They're the gold label. They had these and they were basically showing you what will possibly be coming into South Africa. Okay. So, even so if you I don't have this, this, if you extent. don't have this, you just have to use this. Yeah. So you can use That's this. The it's just go. a different package. There we go. Zuti as fuck, yeah. You can use your bry ash. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Well, yeah. you've got a bit of... This is micro root. This is the stuff that makes your roots really, really, really yeah. explode. Mycorrhiza. So I mix it with water and then... This is wettable micro root. So yes, okay. this one you can mix with water slurry. and then you can water this into the plants to make a slurry or anything like that. Best thing to be used when you're doing transplants. Yeah. Always when you transplant, you must use this. Yeah. Always. But only if you're not using salts. There we go. So if you, okay, use, if you yeah. use salts, don't use this. Don't, don't waste your time. It's, unless you're going... It's going to kill it all. Unless you go like organic start yeah. in your veg and you want big roots, use this. And then when you change over to your flower, don't use it. Yeah. Waste your time. Oh. Then what do we got here? Humic acid granular. Cool. Oh, I think I that's more slow release though. Can you use it in a tea? I'm not sure. Yeah. Just we covered. Well. What humic acid? Where do you get humic acid from again? Breakdown material. It's basically humic acid is the earth. It's the, it's the charcoal. The, it's the bottom of the pit. At the bottom it's the, of the um, compost heap. That's it. Okay. The, dark, the black stuff that they've got. Uh, and around. how much is it? What's that? Hundred grams. How much is hundred grams liter. of that? That's one liter for hundred twenty bucks. Hundred twenty bucks. And what if I had about? Oh, I don't know, 700 kilograms of it at the moment because we just call it Earth. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the market you need to be in. <laughs> so, this is the same as the humic liquid that you get, which is. Yes. What's well, it's it's dissolved? So, it's juice has humic in it because they also create humus. Ah, uh, yeah. So, okay. it's that part so, of the breakdown right. process. Yeah. This is now just a pelleted form. Uh, they mine it sometimes, they find good spots of it in the soil. I and got they bring you. It out. I know what you mean. So, now do you add water? Can, to these, yeah. Solvents. With all yeah, of these teas solvent. and things, you basically would it's like literally make, making tea. You make tea. You take a bucket, put an air stone in it, add some of the stuff in, and boil it yeah, away yeah. for a couple of hours, or to oh, let yeah, it just, yeah. just to just oh, to get yeah. it all mixed up and get the air mixed in, and then okay. when you feed it to them, that's a good idea. But, but, but it's mix and use, eh? Yeah. Mix and use. Mix and use. Don't store. Yeah. Don't bubble longer than twenty-four. Yeah. Then you got this EM Pro soil. This is really good, efficient microbes, microbial source solution. Yeah. This stuff is magic. I've seen guys grow Great plants a, literally from the beginning to the end on this stuff. Yeah. Great no for jokes. soil stuff. If you want to get some old soil revived. And then you got some super products here from Biobiz. Top Max, always, Activera and Root Juice. Always, always. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, teas can, can be expensive as these bottles are. Yeah. 
or they can be really cheap and you can go into your garden and find your compost heap, get a stocking, put some of that compost into the stocking, okay. bubble it inside a bucket and feed that to your plants and there's a tea. Right. And that tea is going to feed your plant perfectly. Are you talking now specifically for indoor growth? No. Pot grows, everything, all container the time. Container grows, anything. Container grows, It's for anything. beneficial bacteria, so you like the, the compost, well, compost teas, yeah, it comes alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, they hang around. Earthworm castings can work. As long as there's food, they sit in line and do their thing. Take some, take some um, sprouts, some bean sprouts, or some uh, barley, or some corn, corn and wet them, and make them, or germinate them, so they have a small shoot that comes out of it. And then blend that up in a blender, and really yeah. blend oh. it well. Yeah. And then dilute that into some more water, and then feed the feed the plants with it, like a weed nutri bullet. Literally, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Showering in your nutri bullet, like <laughs> it's like when your nutri bullet break. explodes and it goes all over you. <laughs> that all encapsulated. Do we need this to get any more oaks? We done with no, we're done with that. Yeah, done with that. Cool. So very interesting. Um, teas, they're good. They're cheap. They work. So we've been, kinda, yeah. we've been working the same beds outside for like, I don't know, probably decades now and never really added anything except just the compost we took down to what it would be uh, formic acid. What was that? Pull me. Pull me. Pull me. And then uh, we presume we put it back on the beds and the beds raise and raise as you know the beds. But that's exactly And that's what yeah. But that's exactly you're doing the same right thing. It's you're like doing the you're doing the thing. What oaks thing are thing. doing is they're trying to recreate what you've done in twenty years yeah. in six months or <laughs> instantly. Indoor. Instantly. Because <laughs> what you've done years to create living beds full of life and microbes and activity that's sustaining. Oaks have now got to just add water to. But people are doing it now. People are now taking a tent 2.4 2 by 1.2 and they're putting a bed inside that. The whole thing becomes one bed, yeah. which is about 300 to 450 mils deep and it's literally one bed that they leave. Right. Yeah, and they'll grow a that. whole year or two in that bed, three or four cycles within that one bed just to make it, because it's a living soil. So they'll start it up and they'll put their cover crops, they put their earthworms, they put all the hohos, the nematodes, the this, the that, the next thing, and they wow. grow inside them. They literally, when it's done, they just cut out the root zone and plant your next plant straight back inside that. Same do, space. Tap. do people do it with any other plant other than weed? Mm. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only plant in, on the planet that people would do that Well, to. no, no, that's only certain, I think, certain cultures, you could say. Because well, Korea, when they do the KNF, the like they don't, the they don't touch the ground. They'll literally mm. pull it up, no till, and they'll plant again. No forks. And ah. they won't oh, yeah. ever turn no the top oh, soil no, no, because that's, you know. Absolutely dead into that. So there we go. Absolutely. That's the same thing. Right. Never There's yeah. a farming practice mm -hmm. like that. It's not that's that we've, we've invented this practice. What? What's happening? I'll talk to you first. <laughs>